brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. They've been tasked with ensuring history doesn't repeat itself. There's a really sincere commitment on the part of the Archdiocese to uh, prevent uh, any further uh, abuse uh, of our children and our vulnerable uh, populations. So that's what we're here for. Sarah Thomas Nedidog is the chairperson for the task force for the protection of minors. The task force was established by the Archdiocese of Agania amid allegations of child molestation by church clergy. Thomas Nedidog is a longtime social work professional. She, along with task force members Ray and Fina Fernandez, visited the Dominican Child Development Center earlier this week to train school staff on how to handle such situations. The husband and wife are both retired police officers with extensive backgrounds in criminal sexual conduct investigations. According to federal and local laws, teachers and caretakers are required to report any suspected abuse, whether it's physical, emotional, or sexual. Let somebody of, uh, who has been trained, maybe a counselor, maybe the police officer who's investigating this, they can come in and can talk to the child. And, and, and get that information that's needed so that, that that information goes directly to somebody of authority and, you know, some kind of action can be taken right away. But what should a parent or caretaker look for? How do you know a child has been abused? We can physically look at them, see how they, they interact, what their behaviors are when they're in, class, in the classes. Each of the island's private schools are expected to receive this training. Other members to be conducting the trainings are longtime clinical social worker Vince Pareda and retired attorney John Weisenberger. To view the task force's PowerPoint presentation to the schools, visit our website. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.